Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add in a camera shake into your game. So for my example I'm going to be doing it so when my barrel explodes, which I did tutorials on how to make this, which will be linked on the screen now in the description below. But I'm going to be doing it so when this barrel explodes the camera shakes as if an explosion has gone off. But obviously you can do this uh, any way you want in your game. So what it's going to look like is something a little like this. So if the barrel explodes, we'll get that slight camera shake there. And obviously you can modify this to however you want to make it more extreme, less extreme. However, but this is what I'm going to show you how to do. And you simply just change the variables for how you want it to be. So let me just delete everything I've done and I'll show you how to do this. So what we're going to need to do first is actually create our, our camera shake blueprint. So I'm going to be doing this in the barrel folder because this is going to be specific for the explosion. So what you do is right click, go to blueprint class, then open this drop down menu here under all classes. So you open that. And then what we're going to do is search for camera shake like this and you want this bottom one here camera shake hit select and call this whatever you want I'm going to call this barrel explosion shake just so I know which one's which and I'm just going to open that up straight away and then we're going to be changing these values over here so yours might look something like this and we're just going to be changing these values so open all these up like that and then I'm going to be using values I found on the Unreal forums and I think uh, Unreal Engine provided these ones themselves, so these are just good starter ones that you can use. So we're going to set the oscillation duration to 0.25, and this is basically just how long the duration of the shake will be. So how long you want the camera shake to last. And then obviously blend in, blend out, you can change those to what you want, but the default is quite good. And then what we're going to do want is open the pitch here and the pitch is basically the kind of like left and right directional values of this if you if you want to describe it like that so we're going to set the amplitude to 5 and the frequency to 25 and what this means is the amplitude is basically kind of how severe it is uh, the explosion or the camera shake sorry will be on the pitch if i think that's probably the best way to describe it so how yeah how much you'll notice it kind of thing so we set that to 5 and the frequency is how many times it's going to happen. So it's going to happen 25 times in the space of 0.25 of a second. And then we want to just leave the initial offset as random and the waveform as the sine wave. And then for the yaw, this is basically up and down. So the amplitude again will be 5 and the frequency once again 25. It's good to keep these matching so it doesn't look too bad. And then the roll we're going to leave as default like that. So we'll leave it as 0. And the roll is basically the angle kind of like 360 degrees round. And then the LOC oscillation, we can change the X to 100 and then the frequency to 1. So again, it'll happen once. And for this one, we want to change the initial offset from random to 0 and the waveform to sine wave. And this means that it will do the exact same one every time. It won't do a, won't choose a random one. And the amplitude, we're going to leave a 0 again. And then, uh, sorry, the Y, we're going to leave a 0 again. And then the Z, we'll put to 10 and 25. So 10 and 25 like that. And again, leave this as random and sine wave. So this should now be done. And again, change these values to however you like. But these are the good ones. But these are good values that Unreal has provided. So we compile and save that. We can then close this. We're done with it. And then we're going to want to open the blueprint for what you want to actually shoot for it to explode or for to cause uh, to trigger the camera shake. So if this is in a box collision, go there. But mine is in the explosive barrel blueprint. So just open up your blueprint. And then this here that I already have is basically the code to actually make the barrel explode, uh, which again I did in the previous tutorial. So you basically just want this code to make it explode. I'll do this, you can pause the video here to get that if you want. And then I'll I'll just move this over here and off of the cast we're going to get a sequence. So it will fire this and then it will also fire this down here. Uh, also in the tutorial, so I didn't put a delay here, but we are going to need a delay here for 0.1 second before the destroy actor. And then come off the sequence of the then one, and we're going to cast to our character, so mine being first person character, like that. For the object, I'm just going to get player character, like this. And then as first person character, we're going to want to set a variable, which we're going to need to make now. So we can compile this and minimize it, and then go open our character. So mine's first person BP, blueprints first person character we're going to make a new variable down here so hit the plus variable i'm going to call and i'm going to call this explosion shake question mark which to me i understand which basically means should it do the explosion camera shake so obviously call this whatever you want to make it easier for you but for me that works and this wants to be a boolean and obviously default value of false so we'll go back to our barrel blueprint and then as first person character we're going to want to set 
explosion shake or just the variable you've just made plug that in and we're going to want to set it to true and that's all you need to do there so then hit compile save and we can close this but I'm going to leave it here just in case we need to change anything and then we'll go back to our plus plus and character and we're going to go to the event graph so then just find a bit of space or go off the event tick if you've already used it but we want event tick here like this and then what we want to do is come off of this and just go straight into a branch like this and as a condition we want it to be our boolean we just made so mine is explosion shake and then what we want to do is come off of the true output for this and play world camera shake like that and if the shake is going to be the one we've just made mine being barrel explosion shake like so now the epicenter is obviously the center of where the shake will be so what we're going to want to do is have this as our character location so obviously over here we already have the get actor location but if you don't have this we just drag off the epicenter get actor location like so should be that function there and that works and then the inner and outer radius and the fall off we want to keep fairly similar but the outer radius we're going to change and I'm going to set it to 100 and obviously this is just means the radius around this location in which the camera will shake so I'm just going to set it to 100 there see if the fall off is 1 that should be that part done to actually make the camera shake but so we can use it again multiple times what I'm going to do is set a delay and set it to 0.1 second so it's very short and then just set explosion shake back to false so we can then do it again so then if we hit compile and actually I'm just going to comment this so I know what it is let's call this barrel explosion camera shake and if you want to know how to comment you simply just select it all and then hit C and that will comment over it for you so then if we compile and save this we can test this out so if we then close this and hit play if we shoot a barrel it should explode and then do a camera shake for us so there we go that worked perfectly we shot the barrel it still exploded everything still worked and then we had a camera shake as well so the camera is shaking as if the player is actually experiencing an explosion in real life so there we go that works perfectly so I think that'll be it for this video we've done everything we wanted to do we've set up the functionality behind the barrel explosion for the camera shake so when we shoot it the camera shakes as if an explosion has just gone off so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like subscribe down below so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one